It's important to take care of people on this land that have been um, presenting to us with HIV or any other diseases. Asking for help takes courage. We'll help you find what you need. Billboards like this one are popping up across the province as part of a harm reduction campaign launched this week by the Southern Chiefs organization. The organization announcing Wednesday the awareness campaign will target primarily First Nations people with printed materials, bus boards, ad space and social media. Topics range from the importance of carrying naloxone to encouraging testing for HIV and sexually transmitted and bloodborne infections. SEO Grand Chief Jerry Daniel says, quote, recent data shows disproportionate outcomes of drug poisonings, overdose, concurrent infections and complications associated with problematic substance use for First Nations people linked to the ongoing impact of trauma. It's a sentiment echoed by advocates across the country. HIV is not the problem. The problem is deeply rooted in colonization, in residential schools, in the reports of the murdered and missing Indigenous women and girls and two-spirit people. According to a report from 2022 by the Manitoba HIV program, seven in ten people who entered the program identified as Indigenous. Advocates say to make progress, any harm reduction program catering to Indigenous peoples must be culturally sensitive. We need to bring forward our Indigenous ways of knowing and doing, our own medicines, our own ceremonies, our own practices, our own um, ways of, of looking at healing and wellness. They're specific to the many diverse nations across this land. The campaign is set to run to the end of August in Brandon, Dauphin, Portage La Prairie, Selkirk and Winnipeg. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News.